of the rails. In any city, in any country, go to any subway station you can get yourself to. This holder will test your patience, and impatience will get you massacred. Once there, go to the closest officer to you and ask to see the holder of the rails. Should a look of doubt and fear come over the officer's face, you are in the right place. But if a look of greed and lust come over the officer's face, run out of the station and keep running. You will hear an inhuman sound behind you, like the sound of a rabid dog chasing you, but do not look back, for if you do, the now distorted and gruesome face of the pit fiend the officer has become will send paralyzing fear through your body, and you will be caught, raped, and fed upon for the rest of eternity, feeling everything as freshly as the moment it started. Keep running until that sound disappears, or until the very act of inhaling feels like it will shred your lungs like so much cheap tissue paper. You will mercifully pass out. When you awaken, the officer will be gone, and a new one will be in that officer's place at the station. If you are in the right place, however, the officer will take you to an elevator. Before the doors open, close your eyes. When you hear a bell, wait five seconds, then take three steps in. Make a 180 degree spin and keep your eyes closed. The officer will get on with you and press a button. You will never know what floor you will end up on, so don't fret. The same thing will happen over and over. You will be riding on the elevator for hours, going straight down. You will hear a bell and the doors will open. The officer will say, Is this where you want to go? Do not answer. Do not open your eyes. After a while, the officer will sigh and the doors will close. You will go down another floor and a buzz will ring out instead of the bell. The officer will say, End of the line. Take seven steps out and wait thirty seconds before opening your eyes. You will be in a long, dark hallway with old, white, filth-caked walls. Blood will be oozing upward on the walls. Pay it no heed and walk. Walk swiftly, but don't speed walk or run. The demons hiding in the shadows love fast prey, and your scent will slowly drive them wild with hunger. When you get to the end, there will be a door with no knob. Push it open, and you will be standing at the top of an escalator. It seems to go down into endless darkness. But don't let your mind waver, and don't let your bravery falter. You've made it this far. There is no turning back. Should you hear a voice urge you to come down, ride the escalator all the way down. It will take you seven days. If you hear a scream come from behind you, walk down the escalator at a normal walking speed. Count the first twenty steps in an indoor voice. Once you say twenty, stop counting, but don't stop walking. You will hear loud footsteps behind you, matching your footsteps, sometimes a bit slower, sometimes a bit faster. Do not slow down, do not speed up, do not look behind you, and do not speak. The footsteps will sound like hard sandals hitting metal, and you will become very annoyed. Still, keep your pace and do not falter. After about twenty minutes of walking, you will reach the platform. The footsteps will end, and you will feel a presence right behind you. 
turn around to face your follower. If it is a female apparition with a scarf on her head, you are safe for now. If it is a male apparition that stands at least two feet taller than you, throw yourself onto the tracks and the train will come instantly and end your life on the spot, which is a fate far more welcoming than what he would intend. The female will smile at you and lean up to kiss you. Let her. She will thank you for accompanying her down the long escalator ride. At that time, ask her, Where do I go? She will gasp and move away and beg you not to continue. She will confess her love for you and wrap her arms around you. Ask her again with sternness in your voice. Where do I go? If she pulls back and pushes you onto the track, pray that the train comes and takes your life before the woman calls forth her small demons. As small as they may be, they will enter your body and eat you from the inside out. Should she pull away and cry, caress her cheek, and tell her you love her softly. She will begin to tell you in a riddle-like manner where the last and strongest holder is. Ask her this, how will I know when it happens? When she opens her mouth to answer, the train will come, blowing its horn and awakening all of the demons from your worst nightmares. They will begin stampeding down the escalator, rage flaring in their monstrous eyes. Run as fast as you can to the front car of the train. Those doors will be the only doors that open, and they'll open for anyone. The apparition is in the driver's seat, looking at you with sadness in her eyes. Don't stare into her eyes for they will enchant you and cause you to forget your mission. The demons will rip you apart slowly, and each day you will heal just for it to happen again. Reach over the apparition and press the only button. It will make the train move and seal all the doors. Now it is safe to look at the apparition. Ask her the question again. How will I know when it happens? She will begin to blink in and out of existence and finally fade away, smiling. Her spirit is now free. Now, however, the station around you will begin to crumble and the train is speeding out of control. The lights will turn red and a gruesome demonic voice will answer you. When the sun shines at night, and the moon lights up the day, when the devil runs to heaven, and God hides away, when the plagues return at once, and all of the firstborn sons die, when thunder flashes and lightning rains, and the earth becomes the sky, when fire cools and water burns, when clouds surround and the mountains churn, when screams are silent and silence becomes sound, when angels fall from the melting ground, the legion will arise. The voice will speak slowly, and you must run to the very last car into the control room and pull what looks like a jewel-studded lever down. Once you pull it down, pull it out of the panel, and you will see it's a dagger. Where the button was in the first control room, there will be a heart. Stab the heart and close your eyes. Scream out as loud as you can. I fight for the souls that were lost in this trial. This
this motion is for them. Drag the dagger down the heart, and a loud screech will be heard. Your eyes will open, and you will be arriving at the station closest to your home. You will be sitting in a random seat with the dagger in your lap. Since it's illegal to carry weapons on a train, you may want to conceal it as you leave. There will be a red taxi with wings on the door and a horn on the hood. Go to it. Put your hand on the handle of the door and close your eyes. Get in. Don't speak. Don't open your eyes. Count to ten in your head and open your eyes. You will be on your couch at home. If you look on your nightstand, you will see a picture of yourself and that apparition while she was alive. You two will be in a playful embrace, and suddenly sadness will wash over you. You will suddenly think you have just lost the love of your life, the love you never had. Look at the dagger. That dagger is object 78 of 538. It will only pierce one heart that of its owner. It is now yours, and it's up to you to decide if you will use it.